Face it, there's nothing quite like a new Formula One season. Apart from the buzz, heated drama, headlines and everything in between, the start of a new season also brings the announcements of new timepiece sponsors, marking a clear indication of what the superstars would be wearing right until the final race. Fasten your seatbelts as we go on a race course through some of the most fascinating timepieces you just have to see on your screens this season. Some of them would leave your jaws wide open. The past couple of seasons have been eventful for Mercedes. In 2021, poster boy Lewis Hamilton went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Red Bull's Max Verstappen for the title, albeit losing by the tightest of margins thanks to a controversial rule. Hoping to get back to winning ways, Lewis and Mercedes shockingly had a widely underwhelming season last time out. This year, they'd surely be striving to set things right. But on the watch front, IWC remains the official timepiece of the team. Lewis Hamilton is known for being a serial winner on the circuit, but off it, he's one of the most stylish sportsmen you'd ever see. Already being spotted wearing an IWC Big Pilot's Watch Perpetual Calendar Lewis Hamilton Edition watch that screams luxury, he's surely setting the tone of today's video. For the uninitiated, the limited edition timepiece is a deep burgundy perpetual calendar with golden accents worthy of being thirsted over. It has a 46.5mm case with unique combinations of bold material and colours that easily makes it one of the bold offerings from IWC on the market. One of the most notable features of this watch can be seen in the dial. Being a hybrid of complexity and class, it features day, date, month and year indications on four digits with a dual moon for both hemispheres. Serving as the engine is none other than the Calibre 52615, an in-house movement with a Peloton winding system rated to have a power reserve of 168 hours. Featuring 54 joules, this engine beats at a frequency of 4 hertz. It's also worth mentioning that the movement is decorated with a special gold-coloured rotor with Lewis Hamilton's logo. Limited to only 100 pieces, this fine work of art with reference IW503002 is priced at an excess of $57,000. Lewis Hamilton's teammate George Russell is no pushover either. His IWC pilot chronograph IW337709 timepiece is a watch that screams to be cheered upon. While Mercedes relatively had an underwhelming season last time out compared to the sky-high expectations, George Russell had a different experience. From a personal perspective, he did his best. He even got his first ever race win. Just as he'd be one to watch this season, the IWC Pilots Watch Chronograph IW37709 deserves to be in the same bracket. Being a chronograph, this timepiece is far more accurate than a standard timepiece. Traditionally, watches like this were used by pilots who needed the most accurate instruments to properly keep track of the time and ensure that flights either arrived or departed according to their scheduled time. Coming in a stainless steel case and measuring 43 millimeters in diameter with a height of 15.4 millimeters, this may not be popular among ladies who mostly prefer smaller cases, but there are so many things that could change their minds. For starters, the crowns are screwed in and the timepiece itself is water resistant for up to six bars. The watch runs on self-winding and automatic 79320 calibers. But here's a fun fact. Despite the fact IWC tends to use movements developed in-house, this watch doesn't include one. Comprising up to 240 components, including 25 joules, the movement vibrates at a frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour. Wouldn't you consider getting your hands on this? With a price tag of $5,500 on Chrono24, this timepiece could be yours. Surprise, surprise, Mercedes rivals and current Formula One champion Red Bull would be wearing timepieces from the Tag Heuer brand. With both brands on the back of a collaboration running since 2016, it's safe to say it's business as usual between their ranks. Given that they currently have the best cars, it's only fitting that they'd have a top brand on their wrists. Over the years, Tag Heuer has clarified that it will never turn its back on the track. Did you know most of their watches are named after the most popular races in the world, such as the Carrera and Monaco? The brand and racing always seems to go hand in hand. 
Max Verstappen may already have a Monaco dedicated to him, but one of the most intriguing watches in his collection is the Monaco Titan Special Edition timepiece. The Monaco Titan may not be the first ever Monaco design in titanium, but it marked the first time its classic 39mm case would be rendered in lightweight and durable material. Not only is it the first titanium left-hand crowned Monaco, but also it is the first titanium Monaco chronograph. Like the case, the Monaco Titan's dial takes the familiar form of its predecessors but adds some glittery elements that give it a brand new vibe. A simple glance at the silver sunburst finish would have you mesmerized. The level of detail is so good that we wouldn't be surprised if you get lost staring at it. At the heart of the Tag Heuer Monaco Titan is the Salita SW300 one-based caliber 11 engine with automatic chronograph movement. The engine maintains the DNA and legacy of the 1960s original, but the architecture is a completely different ballgame. It's far more conventional and contemporary than the original movement. The Monaco Titan is a fitting watch for Verstappen, but we can't help but feel its performance would surely leave a couple of things wanting. With a rate of 28,800 beats per hour and 40 hours of power reserve, what are your thoughts on this? However, with a limited number of 500 pieces worldwide and an MSRP of just under $8,900, would you be getting this? Ferrari and Richard Mill are two of the most recognized luxury brands in the world, linked by their passion for continually pushing technological boundaries to the utmost limits. Could anyone find the sponsorship surprising? Right from 2021, when the pair have been working hand in hand, they've had a fruitful time. Ferrari drivers Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz are both acting as ambassadors for the brand. But the former's Richard Mill RM6702 watch is truly a sight to behold. Although it isn't equipped with intriguing complications, the RM6702 is anything but trivial. It's light, it's reliable, resistant and excellent. In terms of perfectly expressing what a sports watch is, you'd struggle to find anything better. Being the natural evolution of the 6701, the 02 maintains some features but looks and feels far better. The case can be found in carbon and quartz, two composite materials. The skeletonized dial is another thing to look out for. Not only is it made from an ultra-thin titanium plate, only four tenths of a millimeter thick, but it's also painted and finished by hand. It uses in-house CRMA7 movement, a self-winding 25 joule caliber that beats at a frequency of four hertz. If you're the kind of person who always analyzes the power reserves of a watch before buying it, what do you think about 50 hours? Another thing to love about this movement is that it was forged as a result of several research studies in the field of mechanics just to make its caliber more efficient. Features like a charging barrel that rotates faster also help improve the watch's overall performance. Apart from being an ultralight watch, the strap is also highly elastic thanks to its 32 grams of weight. Combining both materials makes the timepiece perfect for comfort. The market price for this watch is between $750,000 and $800,000. At this point, it's clear that Richard Mill has outdone itself. Carlos Sainz has a timepiece we dare you not drop your jaws for. Having produced the world's thinnest automatic wristwatch in the form of the RMUP01 Ferrari, this is one of the craziest watches you'd ever hear of this season. The 51mm wide by 39mm lug-to-lug case could best be described as a wide rectangle with rounded sides. Taking lots of street cred for being ridiculously thin, this timepiece also has an interesting dial. Instead of being traditional, the top of the RMUP01 consists of a titanium surface with four small circular openings and the Ferrari racing horse logo engraved upon it. Time is shown by the extremely tiny register in the center of the top half of the face of the watch, with the circle at the right offering the all-important feeling of balance. They're both covered by thin sapphire crystals, which is a lovely bonus. Juicing up the watch, though, is the super-thin manual-wound Calibre RMUP01 engine movement. How familiar are you with the story behind it? Developed in collaboration with Audemars Piguet Le Local Workshops, previously referred to as Audemars Piguet Renault et Papy, or APR and P for short, over the years, this workshop has closely worked with Richard Mill and is responsible for some of the brand's most complicated timepieces, from design to production. Lest we digress, the engine has a rated 45-hour power reserve matched to a nice frequency of 4 Hz. 
To ensure the caliber retains its lightness and strength, the movement has a base plate and skeletonized bridges in grade 5 titanium. With an official retail price of $1,888,000 and a production cap of 150 pieces worldwide, would you buy it if you could?